What if I told you you could now become the avatar in Blade and Sorcery? What's up guys, PyPop101 here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my avatar spell which features water bending, fire bending, earth bending, and air bending. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing I want to say is adding in an avatar spell has been something the Blade and Sorcery community has wanted since day one. And I figured I had a couple of days to work on it, so I might as well. So without further ado, why don't we get straight into it? Okay, so you pull the trigger and you get our water ball. Now on collision, it does play a little explosion of water particles. It has proper sounds when you're holding it, and there is a slight trail when you're actually holding it, just like fire and all the other projectiles. Now if we use slow-mo, you can see it actually being created, and then when we're shooting it around, there's a bit of a water trail following the particles. I figured it was just a fun little thing to add. And honestly, I think it turned out pretty great too. I'm also considering adding merges to all of the spells. So if you guys have any ideas for possible merges for water bending or any of the others, let me know in the comment section. But with that, so we have the trigger, it's water. If we pull our grip, we now have a fire fist. All we need to do is pull the grip. That's what it looks like. And then one thing about the fire fist is it's the first one where you can actually customize it. So there's extra knockback on collision whenever you have the fire fist. Or you can set it to zero and have there be none. We have this handsome dude right here. Make a fire fist and when punching an enemy, you can actually light them on fire, and it does an instant knockdown. Or, what you can do if you're like me and you want it to be incredibly overpowered, set it to be 30, the same as the airbending knockback. Hey lady. And then, you punch, it does a bit more force, and you can continue customizing it and making it higher and higher and higher, depending on how much you want. Now we've covered water bending, fire bending. If we spawn in a few enemies, just check this out. What we're going to be showcasing right now is air bending. So to actually activate air bending, we do trigger, which is water bending, and then grip, which is fire bending at the exact same time, and then we get our air bending particles, which just to showcase, this is what they look like. And you can use them absolutely as much as you want, and obviously I'm doing it right now, there is no lag. And just so you guys can see my handsome face as I'm doing this, check this out. Like, come on. This is absolutely so much fun to use. And if we spawn in a few more enemies, just... You know what? Why don't we actually spawn in some enemies next? So, to use airbending, we can just knock enemies back like so. And of course, it's not only enemies. Works on items as well. Smaller items obviously get launched further back than bigger ones just because of the weight, and it's like that. And of course, if you want to spawn in enemies like so, and just use air bending, you can easily knock them back to kingdom come, and it's so much fun to use. And I'm super happy with how this has turned out so far because it's all in one spell. And just like fire bending, you can also customize the knockback of the air bending right here. Last but not least, we have these three customizations for our earth bending or our earth wall and in order to activate earth bending hold trigger throw your hand up and you summon an earth wall now honestly i do like the way this looks i do think it could be a little bit better so i'm probably going to be working at it at some point in the near future but honestly just being able to summon an earth wall to protect you is something that i've wanted and i think it works absolutely perfect with the way this mod does now, I am considering something, though. So, when you hold the grip right now, we do have our fire bending, right? Well, what do you guys think about if we kick while we're doing this? I'm curious to see, because look at this. So, if we kick out, our foot goes directly forward. So, what do you think about kicking flames or, like, a fireball right at the enemy? Or, better yet, doing, like, something like the air bending particles, but... A fire bending or flamethrower, which gets kicked off directly from our foot and can light enemies on fire. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm spitballing as I'm making this video. But regardless, I mean, come on. Everything works flawlessly. It's a ton of fun to use. And I mean, come on. We are now the avatar in Blade and Sorcery. Hey, come on, lady. Knock it off. So what I do want to showcase is fighting a couple different enemies at the exact same time. 
just so I can show you guys how well this actually works all together. So, without further ado, we have our Avatar State spell in each hand. What you got, lady? You're gonna find a real firebender? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Just a flaming punch right to the head. Instant knockdown. And yes, of course, you can change and move around the waterfall. I thought it was perfect. Oh, look at that. And they hit each other. Please. You think I didn't see you? <laughs> And I love the fact that they can't go beyond the wall either. Ooh. Nice. And of course, there is a little explosion particles, but there's audio with that too. There's audio on every part of this spell. So I don't know if I've actually let you guys hear it enough, but... Water. Fire. Air. And then... Earth bending sound on everything, so that it's as well made as I possibly could do it. Hmm, I wonder. Ooh, dang, right into the table too? Come on, lady. Let's see what you got, pal. Come on. You got something you want to say? Oh, you? Ooh, I missed that uppercut. Ooh, just a punch right to the head. Yeah. There we go, there's a real knockout. You know what? What happens if we use it on an item? Oh, look at that, we can actually launch it into enemies too? All right. You know, I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out. It works even better than I was hoping. Come on, water and fire at the exact same time. Oh, you fell? Easy. Easy. Oh, you want to fight a real firebender, huh? Ooh! There we go. Now that's fun. Or, better yet, we have fire and <laughs> air bending at the exact same time. Or, let's do water bending. And air bending. Like, come on, all of this just works so well together. I don't know why nobody's made this before. Oh my gosh, and using dual airbending just knocks them all the way. It just launched them across the entire arena. What the heck, this is incredibly overpowered. And of course, I made it so it doesn't actually waste any mana or anything, so you guys can use as much of it as you could possibly want. And better yet, we can also trap them in between earth walls. Hey, lady. Oh, oh yeah, she got launched. That's not fair at all. Okay, but this has been my Avatar State Spell Mod Showcase for Blade and Sorcery. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.